What's good, YouTube? It's your boy DIY Car coming at you with another review. Today, we got a special shoe from the good people over at upshoe.ru. And man, when I tell you these are probably the most anticipated shoes to come out this year, I honestly think they are, in my opinion, they, they're great shoes, but they're a little overrated for me. And before y'all say anything, that is my opinion. So before we get in the shoe, let me get this out of the way. This is an informational video. This is a video with my opinion only. But anything I will hope you will take away from this is that UAs have came a long way and they are taking over the game to me. As you see the quality on these shoes I have been showing, they are a magnet. They are on point in every single way. Y'all know they used to be, eh, but now they like, ah. So without further ado, let's just hop right into this video. Like I said, this is from upshoe.ru. That is going to be their website, their Instagram, and they got their WhatsApp number on there. Now that's gonna be my coupon code at the bottom, at the top, my my fault. At the top, use regular to get yourself $15 off any purchase that y'all make on the website. And y'all might wanna buy these shoes. Again, to me, they are a little overrated, but to each its own, this is gonna be probably the most anticipated shoe of the year. And to start it off, we're going to show the little surprise that came in the box, which is going to be this bad boy right here with the Sicko Mode logo and the Jordan logo. You can put these, you can take this with you to the market. You can take it with you just to put your shoes in in case it starts raining. I mean, you can do whatever with it. And yes, the shoes will fit in here. This is nice little cloth bag that has the wax tips for the drawstring i mean it's a look like i said it's a little nice little surprise that they threw in the box and this box is probably the heaviest box I ever had. That's going to be this. Let me actually just put it back on so y'all can see the whole thing. Like this box is super heavy. That's going to be tape the tag, which is my size, size 10. On the left side, you got the jump man with the sickle mode, the Captain Jack and the Jordan. Same thing on this side, Captain Jack, Jordan, and the Sycamore logo. In the back, you just got a Jordan label with Jack. Top, you got that. Again, this box is super heavy. Probably the heaviest box I've ever had, unless other than the briefcase boxes. It's gonna be inside of the box, all red. Paper of brown. And I have tried these on already. That's why the paper is like that. It did not come like that. But right off the bat, you got the Captain Jack with that red check. And my favorite thing actually about this shoe is for one, gonna be the Jordan. Cause that's super different. We got pretty, it's like a three dots over Jordan logo. And this is also my favorite with the Jack on the bottom in that print. Like craters. And keep in mind as you wear it, this does wear off. It's like painted on. That is going to be on this and on the retail pair. Just keep that in mind. 
It's not something that is meant to stay on. They have said that. That's gonna be the insole, which I love the insole also with the, the design work on it. And I've been trying to figure out if it's a message in it, but I ain't really took time to analyze it. I feel like there's a message in it or it says something in it. I don't really know yet. And nobody knows what the hell this symbol is. If anybody knows what that means, get in the comments and let me know because I could not find nothing, honestly. Then you got a sicko mode logo on the back. You got this little tab that moves. And this material is pretty much like quill material. Pretty much the same material as the back. You got a red, regular Nike check on this side. These To me are a mix of y'all know what shoe I'm talking about. It's a mix of the Deion Sanders trainers and a mix, in my opinion, of the Jordan 312s. It just resembles that to me. I did have that shoe. I wish I had it still so I can actually show it side by side. But in a way, it resembles more so the 312s. I'm not sure what shoes he was trying to resemble when he made these, but that's my opinion. But let's go ahead and go to the next one. Same thing, bottom. Got the jack on it. Again, you got those craters. It's got that three dots on the top of the Jordan logo also. Also has the sicko mode on the back. Got the reverse check, which this is, I can't even think of the name right now. New buck on both of them this new book has that tumble leather all the way around which is super buttery it does bounce back even with the paper in it and this one go ahead and take the insole out same thing same design Got that Jordan logo with the three dots over it too. So the inside. And before I forget, it has three separate laces. Comes with white in the shoe already. But you get red, an off-white, that matches the bottom and brown or white. All in all, this is a, I actually, I can't say I hate the shoe because it's not a bad shoe. It's just, I'm not into trainers and that is my only gripe. Like I'm not really into trainers like that. And this shoe feels like a trainer just by the way it was designed and I, I don't know. It, it's actually a trainer, so I don't know why I said it feels like. It's actually a trainer, it's a TR, which means trainer. But all in all, it's, it's a great shoe. An up shoe that RU actually did a great job making this. It looks exactly like the shoe that comes out later this month with no issues no flaws um i think the one that releases comes with three laces just the pattern all the 
all together, it's just a great shoe. That tumble leather feels immaculate all the way around because it is tumble leather all the way around. And it feels great on feet. It's just, I'm not a trainer person. But this does feel real. It feels real good on feet. And again, that is my favorite little thing that they put on the shoe with the three dots, cause that's never been done. Then the bottom with the jack and the bottom, the way they made the design let me just give y'all a close up of that. Like it just, it's super different. When have y'all ever seen a shoe like this? Cause I haven't. In my opinion, I, like I said, this is probably the most anticipated shoe to come out, especially because it's Travis Scott. It's his signature shoe. And yeah, it's, I feel like it's probably gonna do numbers. Mainly because it's Travis Scott shoe, his first shoe. I think this is the first colorway that's coming out if I'm not mistaken, or it might be the cell colorway. I can't remember. But they all gonna do numbers just because of the name behind it. And it being Travis Scott first signature shoes i think all of them probably gonna do good numbers especially with like so much detail that was put into the shoe like they came out they came out real good thanks to upshoe.ru actually sending these over really appreciate them again i love the shoe it's just not my style. Maybe a lot of people out there love them because they will wear them. I will wear them out just because I know they're comfortable, but I'm not a trainer person. <laughs> it, it, just being honest, I don't like trainers. I love these because of the design work though. I do that. I do love them because of that. But all in all, what y'all think of these? These are from upshoe.ru. They did an amazing job on it with all the details. Everything they put into this shoe is on point from the detailing of the, whatever that freaking symbol is. I wish I knew. If, again, if y'all know, get in the comments, let me know. Cause I really want to know. And yeah. We're going to get up out of here. Again, these are from upshoe.ru. They did a really good job. Thanks again to them. Thanks again to everybody that's been watching, subscribing, liking. Keep doing what you're doing. Really appreciate it. It's your boy DIY Kari signing out. Till next time. Peace.